welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side and I'm here in a pretty wet Blackpool. It's a Monday. Oh my goodness, the rain is coming down today. Uh, oh, look at that's a mirror ball. The world famous mirror ball here in Blackpool. A very popular attraction here on New South Promenade. Now this is a bit of a special video today. I want to talk about my calendar. It's going really well. This is a calendar here, a walk on the wild side calendar, Blackpool calendar for 2025. That's the cover there. And this is the back. I've changed the template this time. It's a little bit different to the last ones. There's more holidays mentioned on this one. They weren't on the last one. And it is selling really, really well. I hope that I don't sell out. I could sell out by November. Thanks to everyone who's bought a calendar so far. I've been sending them off today. So I've got some more to send off. I'll probably send some more off on Wednesday. I just want to uh, make a note about the international sales. I've had a few from Canada and Australia, but there's no postage for international sales on the website. So what I've done up to now is I've just covered the postage, but it's quite a lot. It's about £9.50 to post to Canada and Australia, £9.50, but I've honoured those so far. But I will say, if you are interested in purchasing from abroad, such as Canada or New Zealand, could you please um, send me a message using the order form on the website? I'll put a link to the order form in the description to this video and I'll see if I can also put it on the web on the website as well instructions for international postage I might see if I can set something up but up until now it's going really really well thanks to everyone who's bought one so this is a video just to let you know about the calendar but what I'll also do is I'm going to get on the road and seeing as it's such a really manky awful Monday we'll have a drive around and see what it's like in Blackpool don't let the weather put you off because there's always something to do here in Blackpool. There's loads of stuff to do inside. In fact, it's not really that bad. It's not windy. The sea looks really calm. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So let's go and do that then, shall we? All aboard the Blackpool tram. I've just had a bit of a ding dong off the driver there. So watch this the channel. That's the T1. And that's going all the way to Fleetwood. Who fancies a day out in Fleetwood today? Okay, here's a little look at the sea. We can't see a whole lot today, I'm afraid. It's, uh, we're just underneath rain. It's a yellow warning for rain today, by the way, yeah? But it looks really, really calm. And I think it's all to do with the wind direction. Uh, but anyway, this is how it looks over the Irish Sea. OK, I'm going to get in my vehicle now and we'll drive down the promenade and uh, we'll see what it's like in Blackpool today. Has the rain put people off? Are there still quite a lot of people in Blackpool this week? Are they still on the Scottish holiday? So, let's go and find out, shall we? OK, now I said I'd take you on a bit of a drive and uh, I've never actually been here before. We're just by the bridge. This is Harrowside Bridge, the railway bridge. Just up there is the Kebab House, the Armenian towards the right hand side uh, looks like someone's been dumping stuff around here look a mattress there look yeah it's one of those areas where people dump stuff i suppose yeah uh, anyway that calendar i had i ended up giving it to a random person i met a scottish lad by the solarium and i thought you know what he wanted a picture taken with me so i did and i just gave him that calendar you know can't do that with all of them but you never know you never know so if you're watching hi and also hi to the tram driver as well i missed i missed getting the bells but uh what i thought i'd do is we'll have a little drive around but we'll drive around some areas that i've not been to before rather than just drive up and down the promenade because we know what the promenade looks like don't we anyway this road here is called greystoke place and you'll notice that we've got a concrete road it's a bit like driving in america where they've got all concrete roads. So you can see the concrete here and then it changes to tarmac. So we've got tarmac over there. So we're just coming onto this road now, which is slip and drive, isn't it? So head towards the Pleasure Beach, but I'm gonna take a bit of a, a bit of a diversion just to show you some of these streets around here, which I haven't really covered a whole lot. 
on the channel you'll see the big one straight ahead I can see the rides going round at the Pleasure Beach it's not too bad really the rain it, it seems to have eased off a little bit let's take a little look down here shall we there are hotels along here there's some art, nice art deco ones down there this is called Tudor Place just going past the nursing home so the railway track is just at the end of the road there I'm taking a left onto Napier Napier Avenue this are there any hotels down here can't see any oh that, that is that a hotel there the small hotel with a big heart interesting Napier Lodge oh it's a care home it says Napier I don't know if that's a hotel or a I don't know it said hotel and then it said care home so it might have been two anyway we're coming out now onto I think it's Bond Street this is Bond Street isn't it, it goes all the way around the back of the Pleasure Beach yeah now I've done a few videos on Bond Street but a lot of people probably don't realize that Bond Street actually goes quite a long way I've not seen the big one going and I don't know why because it's not windy it's not windy today it's actually not too bad it's just a little bit wet so we're now on Bond Street <clears throat> we're gonna go right round the Pleasure Beach oh I can see the Grand National I like the Grand National I think it's really good There's not many people on it just going round the chair so we're going round the back of the Pleasure Beach we're following the railway line on Bond Street got a car park there on the right hand side that's where they used to have the R&D in there sometimes they store things in there like track for the big one in that yard there can't see any at the moment I think it's all been taken away but uh, just up here past the Pleasure Beach we've got a car park on the left hand side they actually knocked a load of buildings down to have that car park there the Pleasure Beach do on a little bit of land around here more than you probably think got a shop on the corner there it's starting to look a bit more like the Bond Street that I've covered on my channel I didn't realize there's actually a, there's a junction here you see and this catches me out I wonder if it catches other people out just gone past Bentley's Bentley's chippy they're closed today unfortunately but that's Bentley's I've been in there with the map master so I'm heading along Bond Street it's looking pretty quiet actually isn't it this is station road where the trams used to go along if you, if you have a look down this road here you might be able to see evidence of where the trams used to be because they've still got the tracks but I'm going to head up Bond Street and I wonder if we can get out at the top because that's where they're demolishing the heart store I think I can I think they've actually got it all down haven't they so we'll have a look shall we yeah it's not looking too clever on Bond Street there are a few businesses along here that uh, survive but we're just coming past now look at that can you see I can't turn the camera around but you can see that it's pretty much all gone there's just a pile of rubble there now where the heart store was so that's all gone so let's go up here Waterloo Road and we'll go on to the front yeah it's all gone all gone Notriani's on the left hand side not looking very busy in Notriani's not many people buying ice cream at the moment <laughs> so we're coming on to the promenade now from Waterloo Road who remembers a windmill that used to be right at the top there the windmill what happened to that windmill I think they just knocked it down Was it the same windmill that used to be on top of the uh, the toilets at Manchester Square? I don't know, but it used to light up and it had sails. Did the sails go around? I can't remember. 
but it's looking pretty quiet on the promenade. We're just going past where the that's where St Chad's Terrace used to be. Got a coach outside the Lindeen. Are they picking up or dropping off? It's around about one o'clock on Monday. It is looking pretty quiet. Mind you, the weather is set to get better this week. I've seen the forecast and the weather is uh, set to get a bit better. So we'll see. We'll see, shall we? Got a massive puddle here at Manchester Square. They're doing a lot of work there on the left there at the... They've got a big... Is that a big pump they've got there? They're doing a lot of work there and it's all fenced off at the... Uh, that's the treatment centre in the pump house, Manchester Square. That's where Blackpool got its name from because that's where Spen Dyke, the dyke that came from Martinmere Lake out towards the east and the dyke came from there originated from there and it ran it used to run into the beach and i think the beach was a bit further out at that time and it used to create a black pool and that's how blackpool got its name got its name from right here at manchester square so we'll carry on past manchester square I have done a drive-through of the illuminations, a complete drive-through. That's going to come this week. It might be, it might be Wednesday, but I've done a complete drive-through of the illuminations, and I did it in the rain deliberately because I thought if I do it in the rain, you get more reflections. Just going past the Foxhall. Now that was the site of Blackpool's oldest, oldest building, earliest substantial dwelling the Fox Hall by the Tilsley family and as we come up now towards the central pier it does start to get a little bit busier there's a few more people knocking around up here as you can see it's not quite as bad as what it probably looks it's uh, it's not windy it's not particularly cold it's just wet and uh, that's just water in it so we're not scared of water are we i can see the uh, the souvenir shops open over there they're selling donuts fish and chips i think is open the ocean basket there tower gifts that big pink store on the corner there they're open As we go past the central pier, which is open, of course, the Waxworks Happy Days Amusements. Don't forget you can pick up a calendar from Happy Days Amusements and the Burger Bar and £2.50 of every sale goes to Brian House. So we're now on the main drag. I was hoping to turn right there, but I'm not allowed to turn right. I wanted to turn right into town, but I can't. Some people do, taxi drivers do, but they can get away with anything, can't they? So there's a bit more life up this end. A few people out with umbrellas. We're just going past the, my favorite building, the Woolworths building, 1938. Now, the Albert and the Lion on the ground floor there. Got Poundland round the back. Sports Direct, we're using that building up until... Well, is it earlier this year? They've moved into the Hounds Hill now, Sports Direct. That's the Blackpool Amusements on the right-hand side. Blackpool's newest. It's the newest amusements, isn't it? We have got the real Vegas slots just down here. That might count as amusements, I suppose. 
taxi drivers turning right here, but they can because they are allowed to go down the bus gate. You can't turn right here during the day, otherwise you'd probably get into trouble because you'll go through the bus gate. So Blackpool has got a bus lane, but it's only a very small bus lane. I hate it when I go to other places like Manchester and Birmingham and they've got these bus lanes and if you don't know where you're going it's very easy to drive onto a bus lane so I'll tell you what let's turn right onto Talbot Talbot Square have a little nose in town shall we I hope I take the right the right road I've got to, you've got to be careful there because it's easy to turn down the tram tracks more easily if you're coming from the other direction it's easy to turn onto the tram tracks so the trams are not running after 7 p.m. Uh, for the time being. I mean, it is temporary. This is Clifton Street, just going past the Premier Inn. That used to be Yates's Wine Lodge. I was talking to someone the other day about Yates's Wine Lodge. I said you used to go in there on a, on a weekend, Friday, Saturday, and you could not move. You couldn't even get to the bar. Honestly, you had to fight your way to the bar in those days. It was insane. And when you got to the bar, trying to get the attention, oh my good! can anybody remember that when you used to go in the pubs in the old days? And oh my goodness, you got to the bar and it was, my God, it was trying to get the attention. It was, uh, oh, it was insane. Oh, but anyway, this is Abingdon Street. We've just got a little look at the post office back there. Um, we're getting a little look at the town centre on a wet Monday don't be miserable don't be miserable on a Monday don't forget the weather's getting better coffee Americano on the left there that used to be Jessup's photo it was a betting shop I think for a while wasn't it I'm not allowed to turn right there that's only for taxis and buses we're just going down carrying on down Abingdon Street past the the scruffy looking building there on the past the central library on the right hand side of course it's a bit of a contrast isn't it you've got the grand central library there on one side and you've got those horrible flat or hotels that block of hotels on it just looks terrible doesn't it so this is now springfield road quite a few hotels here we're, we're in the the pride village now over there we've got Man Bar on the corner. Are you man enough for Man Bar? Breaks to go. Quite a few coaches around. On the right hand side we've got Funny Girls. That used to be the Odeon Cinema. Yeah, it's been owned by Basil Newby. Turned it into Funny Girls. Funny Girls used to be where walkabout is back in the older days they've been going for 30 years funny girls highly recommended if you're coming to blackpool check them out funny girls so this is now dixon road and we're just going past the the north station tram depot i can see a couple of trams in there now so there are trams they've got a greg's in there as well if you if you fancy a a Greg's, a sausage roll or whatever, don't forget they've got a Greg's, it's the first outlet to open in there, the Greg's, so check them out. We're now in the Talbot Gateway, I'll tell you where I'll finish off, I'm going to finish off on Cookson Street shall I? Let's finish off on Cookson Street, so we'll take a right here, this is going past the Holiday Inn of course, I did a video in there. The Railside Brew House, that's a new pub there on the corner. You might want to check out Post Office, Mr. Baz Rice on the right hand side. This is now Cookson Street as we go past the council offices and the brand new DWP building. What's going on on Cookson Street? Well, they're knocking a lot of stuff down on the left hand side, so anything that's boarded up has been bought up by the council. And uh, we've got the, the, the saunas. Oh, Natalie's is open. It's Brooklyn. Secrets is open. Natalie's is always open. <laughs> I don't think Natalie ever shuts. So, I tell you what, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. 
don't forget about the calendar I'll put a link to it in the description and don't forget that you can pick them up right here in Blackpool from Happy Days at the moment and the One Pound Burger. If you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one.